Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Nasma Abdul Muhsin and this is the evening. In tonight's headlines, today is the sixth anniversary of the first private TV broadcaster in the Maldives, the TV. The hearing scheduled for today in the civil disobedience case against Home Minister Umar Nasir has been cancelled. And Education Minister Dr. Aisha Shiham says that a principal training program will be conducted this year as part of efforts to address the lack of principals and teachers in some schools. Today is the sixth anniversary of the first private TV broadcaster in the Maldives, the TV. While the country's first private TV station has completed six years of service, many viewers of the TV believe that the channel has garnered several achievements in the broadcasting field since its inauguration. The TV, which was inaugurated on the 1st of July 2008, has come a long way, capturing the attention of many viewers and becoming one of the most watched local channels in the country. Many viewers note that the TV has launched several new programs with fresh and modern tastes, and successfully changed the landscape of the local television industry. The channel has long been in the front line of bringing the latest news and events to the public eye, winning the love and confidence of many in the process. It won't be wrong to say that the TV has indeed revolutionized the Maldivian media community, while being the first channel to promote freedom of expression on a large scale, while retaining the principles and discipline expected from free media. Looking at the six-year history of the TV, it is evident that the channel has stood unrivaled in innovation and production of various new programs in the field of broadcasting. The TV, which presented the broadest and the most independent platform during the competitive days preceding the first multi-party presidential elections in 2008, is undoubtedly the channel that has indeed been fulfilling its duties as the fourth estate in the best manner. Despite several attempts by political figures to obstruct the TV in performing its duties by threatening its staff, abusing them verbally, physically and psychologically, and also damaging its office building on multiple counts, the channel has remained strong due to the strong resolve and dedication of its staff. While viewers of the channel keep increasing day by day and independent surveys show it's the most watched channel in the country today, the growing number of companies that choose the TV to advertise their products strongly demonstrates the confidence placed by local businessmen in the channel. Notably, the TV is also the first local station to launch digital broadcasting, enabling viewers in Mali, some parts of the country and some neighboring countries to watch the channel. At the heart of the channel's achievement lies the hard work of its staff, their firm determination and dedication. In the future as well, the TV will work to raise its quality of service and bring more remarkable products for all viewers. The TV assures the public that it would continue to serve as a critical interface between the state and the masses, making the government accountable and also maintaining its position as the fourth state of democracy as guaranteed by the Constitution. The hearing scheduled for today in the civil disobedience case against Home Minister Omar Nasir has been cancelled. According to criminal court, the hearing scheduled for 12 p.m. today was cancelled due to no decision have been made on Umar Nasir's request to change the presiding judge of Lodidi. It is noteworthy that the criminal court had scheduled the hearing yesterday in Justice of Lodidi's section. The charges against Umar Nasir are in relation to some statements he had made while speaking at an opposition rally held during former President Nasheed's rule. Umar had requested Chief Justice Ahmad Faiz Hussain and Senior Justice of Criminal Court Abdullah Muhammad in writing to replace Justice Abdullah Didi with another judge for his hearings. At the last hearing, the judge had said that next would be the final hearing of the case. This is the first time a cabinet minister is being tried for criminal charges in Maldives. Education Minister Dr. Aisha Shiham says that a principal training program will be conducted this year as part of efforts to address the lack of principals and teachers in some schools. She made the statement while responding to questions posed by MPs at today's Parliament sitting. The Minister was summoned to Parliament to answer questions posed by Maradu MP Ibrahim Sharif regarding the Education Ministry's efforts to develop educational standards in the constituency. 
Responding to Sharif's question, Minister Shiham said that work is being done to increase classroom capacities and appoint well-qualified teachers. She said that principals have not been appointed to some schools due to certain difficulties. She added that principals are being brought from abroad to schools with no principals and that it's due to the lack of well-trained principals and teachers that the issue is still prevalent. Dr. Aishat Shiham said that a program to train principals will be held this year in an effort to address the issue. Responding to questions posed by MPs, the Education Minister said that the Ministry is working to provide the latest technologies to the schools and raise academic standards, and that many positive changes will be brought to the education sector within these five years. We now take a short break. Please stay with us for more news. ಮೋದಿ Coalition partner MDA was given deputy chair slots in four committees. While JP and Adalat party were given deputy chair slots in two committees, opposition MDP was also given deputy chair slots in two committees. Parliament has rejected the emergency motion submitted by MDP expressing concern over the verdict by Judicial Service Commission on the disciplinary case of Supreme Court Justice Ali Hamid. The motion was submitted by MDP's Mafano North MP Imtiaz Fahmi. The motion was rejected unanimously by 44 MPs. Only 18 MPs voted in favor of the motion. The emergency motion submitted by MDP states that the court's declaration of the alleged pornographic video of Supreme Court Justice Ali Hamid as invalid has undermined public confidence in the country's judicial system. Noting that the verdict is a sharp blow to the judiciary, MP Imtia said that the case was concluded after eliminating all paperwork related to Ali Hamid's corruption charges and that all doors to the facts have been shut in this case. The National Awards Technical Committee has today opened nominations for National Award for Special Achievement. Speaking at a press conference held at the President's office this morning, President of the committee, Dr. Abdul Muhsin Muhammad, said that The aim of the award for which the deadline ends on 15th September is to celebrate and recognize those who achieve high distinctions for the country and channel national productivity in the direction of the country's desires. The areas for this year's award include achieving the highest rank in an academic or skill training course, achieving the highest academic qualification in the Maldives National Qualifications Framework, achieving the highest rank in an international exhibition or competition and achieving an outstanding accomplishment in the areas of fisheries or innovation. In addition, the committee will present awards in four areas pertaining to the outstanding performance of a skill or innovation to a standard recognized by the government. According to Dr. Abdul Mohsin, special attention was given to areas that are most relevant to the country now and where women and youth can take part in making decisions with regard to outstanding performance of a skill or innovation to a standard recognized by the government. While the areas have been divided into four sub-areas, each sub-area will be regulated by the relevant government institution. The four sub-areas are the revival and maintenance of Divehi dialects, the production of Divehi dialectal proverb collections, production of drawings based on historical events in the field of visual arts, production of miniatures displaying the creativity and skill of ancestors in the field of reviving and maintaining Maldivian heritage and culture, and weaving and crafting mats in the field of reviving Maldivian craftsmanship. 
The state institutions tasked with regulating the areas are the Divahi Language Academy, National Center for the Arts, Department of Heritage and the Ministry of Economic Development. President Abdullah Yamin has appointed Yumna Ma'amun Mafano Enderimage as Deputy Education Minister. Yumna Ma'amun has been appointed to the post as head of the Department of Heritage. In addition to Yumna, the ministry has seven deputy ministers and two state ministers. With that, we conclude tonight's evening news. Thank you for watching. Have a very good night.